Wait, there are 1-ups in this game? Whoa, when did that happen? That was my first 1-up ever. I thought this game was very... Oh. Dropped. Step away from me, fortune, you crook. <laughs> Not this time, McDuck. Oh, you ain't getting the drop on this big... Okay, so just tell me when we're back. Just probably type that in chat. Okay, so we're back then. Okay. You only met you maybe only missed me getting a life. Wondering th if there were lives in this game, because I've never seen a life before through my whole thing in the Amazon. And a bit of this cinematic. So there was a pattern here that I completely forget. Okay, yeah, the, the globe requires you to jump. And then the statue requires you to not. Yeah, you missed it. Do be careful or you'll scuff the floor. Whoops, that was too early. Oh, no, it wasn't. Whoa, he faked me out there. I think this is the last hit. Yep. Curse you, mutt duck! This ain't the last you'll see of me! I, I can't even quack. I do have a Scrooge McDuck plush right on my desk, though. If I had a face cam, I'd just, like, have that next to me. Surely there are more valuable... I mean, he's wearing a helmet, after all. It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys! Boys! What did you find, Dr. Scrooge? Yeah! What is it? I'm not sure, but I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use gyro... I don't have a... I do have a top hat, actually. It's, like, downstairs. And it's silly. <laughs> I don't have a red band, though. But yeah, the supercomputer kind of baffled me because I totally wasn't expecting that. And no ordinary treasure by the look of things. Only I could scourge would call any kind of treasure ordinary. Look, one of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon. And there's another one in Transylvania. And one buried ten miles underground. Hey, wait a minute. Something screwy. This last treasure can't be right. Yeah, there's no mountain on earth that's that high. Well, Where is that? according to the Junior Woodchuck Guidebook, to get there we'd have to take him out. Oh, Mendez tweeted my stream. Oh. Reach the moon. You mean the moon moon? <laughs> it looks that way, lads. <laughs> There's no way I'm doing the moon first. That would be sacrilege. There's no going to discover itself. So you're saying it should save, like, right now. Oh god. Skype, now you can definitely see that. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn off Steam, because you can probably see the top of that stuff. And I'm going to put myself offline on Skype. <gasps> yeah, Pizza Getty. Apparently that exists. Anyways. Yeah! <laughs> I was so happy when I first saw this, that they actually put this in. I mean, they had to, have. It's definitely not as high as it could be. Oh, maybe Exploit just totally ignores Skype. Oh no, the Mendez army. And he has Twitch Turbo. So, I'm just questioning whether or not this will save. Should I exit game? Well, I exited the game last time and it said continue. Let's just go ahead. To the Amazon. I'm gonna redo this. <laughs> Get launch pad on the horn. I'm headed to the Amazon jungle to find the scepter of the ancient king. See, so, you know, what I love about this game is it's like you're playing it, but it's also like you're in a DuckTales episode. Because there are all these voice clips and animations and whatnot. A 
single segment run. I don't think I could do that, no problem, especially on hard. Lift is one of my favorite principles of aerodynamics. Oh, say, you got your radio, Mr. McD? Hi, hey, of course I do. Oh God! Screws were you flickering? Look, I'd be happy if you just keep your eyes on the sky for once. <laughs> what an airhead! Now then, ancient Incan legends claim the King's Scepter was locked away in a giant temple of the clouds, and it should be dead ahead. Gee, Mr. McGee, I see a lot of clouds, but no temple. You wouldn't, launch bad. The legend says the temple was hidden away from all but King Nanko Kapquak himself. And this is too kind. to be a way to reveal it buried somewhere in this overgrown salad bowl. Overgrown salad bowl. I, it. I love it. Okay, so, the main goal, really, really, well, the main goal in this level is to collect all the Incan coins, and, yeah, there's no map on this. There was a map in medium mode that showed you where all the coins were. I mean, I know where they are now, but. So I love the music for this. I hope that doesn't disappear. I found an ancient coin depicting a nightingale. <laughs> it has to happen sometime. I'm not even going to dignify that question with a response. Also, I got the Scrooge McDuck background for. Okay, so there's a gem there. That I've always sacrificed my life for. Not even gonna do it this time. Okay, here's the underground segment. I hate the underground segment. <laughs> There's actually an achievement to do this while only pogoing. From when you get in to when you get out. Eat shit, Snake. How much of the game have you seen? Only the Amazon. And the beginning, obviously. I stopped after I beat the Amazon. Should I try to do the pogo with Chica? Do you want... Okay. This is probably really stupid. Oh, no. I'm just... <laughs> you really can't get hit. Okay, now this is really annoying. <laughs> because... That would probably make this game better. But you can skip the cutscenes in the pause menu. Oh, God. But, uh, yeah, that is kind of whatever. Okay. Spikes hurt. Especially ceiling spikes. They're probably gonna get me, actually. Uh... coin bearing the image of the queen's horse. Oh my god, how, how could you pogo through all this? Never doubt the well-honed instincts of an experienced treasure hunter. If you say so, Mr. McD. Mr. McD? Okay. The problem is, <laughs> those hurt. And I'm definitely gonna get injured. Oh, oh lord. Okay. <laughs> I was actually surprised I made that. Patience is a virtue. Yes, thank you, health. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that's what you have to do. But it gets really, really insane at this bit. Actually not really. I'm just a freaking pussy. Yeah, there that one up was not there in medium mode. Just so you know. Are you sure we aren't playing on easy? Ah, rubbish. Ooh, how am I gonna do this now? Okay. Just wait for him to go back down. No, oh my lord. I can't believe I did that without dying. I just can't die. 
Well, actually, I can't game over. Oh, he's showing the sun. Gads, I nearly tripped over it. This place is a mess. Where's Mrs. Beakley when you need them? Yeah, because Mrs. Beakley will clean up the entire Amazon. Uncle Scrooge. No achievement. I might go back and actually do it, though. Because <laughs> I really want it. Look at this. An ancient coin with the image of a scythe. It must represent a good harvest. Or death. This is Launchpad, calling Mr. McD. What is it, Launchpad? I'm running a little low on fuel up here. Well, where are the extra fuel canisters? I love this fucking you game. Just find those fuel canisters, but the next thing you'll be flying is a model airplane. Okay, okay. This time I ask you for help. Is that a promise? Okay, watch this. Owned! Oh, more health. Okay, now's where bees start coming in. <laughs> They're not that bad, honestly. They're just a bit annoying. Oh, and Prana Plants. They were here before, though. Don't trust me to do one bit of this flawlessly. This is... This seems a lot more lenient with health. Are you sure we're playing on hard? No wall. Ah. Uh, Okay. I like how the enemies instantly die once the cutscene starts. <laughs> you found another one, and it depicts the really might of a spear. Spear Kirby. Mr. Come in, Mr. For every reason, the uh, text Not flags here. What was that? It's like people are saying, oh well I don't want to buy this game because I haven't watched DuckTales or I haven't played the original DuckTales. It's like, you don't need to. It's still genius. You know, this part gets me for whatever reason. Oh, I made it. Okay. Wait, did I get all the coins? No, I'm still missing one. Okay. Yeah, I know where it is though. It's right over here. Okay, what is this? <laughs> This bit, this rope, right here. Sometimes I make it, sometimes I don't. For some reason, they give you like two free rubies here. Look at this one. It shows a shield. You know, I bet those Incans could have minted a whole lot more coins if they hadn't tried to make each one unique. Yeah, what a bunch of morons. Whoops. Now we go back. Or I could try the underground achievement. <laughs> or I could try the underground achievement. Or I could fuck up. You want? Uh, whatever. I'm gonna go back. Maybe do it after I beat it. Ooh. Good thing I came back this way, or else I would have missed that ruby. That goes not to the music at all. I want to get the underground achievement though, and I want to stream it. <laughs> That's for sure. If I have to suffer, you have to suffer with me. Okay, so Mendez said something about the wall. What is it, Mendez? What are you trying to teach me? Can't hit that over on the wall, can I? It's like, I see the crack in there, but I'm not sure if that's just a, uh, thing or a thing. Oh well. Let's just go, Ed. Hey, bees. I ain't having you, stupid Oh, this wall, maybe. 
Because you can actually hit this with a cane. No? Don't try. <laughs> so now we know that there is a wall that you can hit. <laughs> I'm guessing you get it. What's up with all these graphical glitches? I haven't gotten these before. There's an image of the scales of justice. Just what I need to help me find the scepter. You know, Mr. Mitty, I had a thought. Launchpad, why start now and spoil a perfect record? <laughs> That's a good question. Well, I don't have all day. What was your thought? Come to think of it, uh, I forgot. <laughs> Launchpad, were you dropped on your head much of the child? You'll see how this helps him find the center. Like right now. <laughs> 